Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Investigator here, and I was just gonna make this video to tell you guys about an update that YouTube launched for their iOS application. So as you guys can see, I have downloaded the update, and it brings in a brand new, fresh icon. It's much flatter, it has a red and just a play button on there. So let's go ahead and launch the app. Now, just giving you guys a quick look, the first thing I noticed was it had a really different style. The writing and the typography was much like the design of iOS 7. And even when I looked in the uploads, I could see there was a lot of white uh, background and just with the icons and basic writing in a much uh, thinner font. So if I go ahead and search for something like Apple, you guys can see that the results are displayed. And then on the side on the right, there are three dots and you can do a variety of options from there, such as add to my favorites and stuff like that. And once I actually play a video here, playing one of the Apple Byte videos from CNET, you can see the like button there, as well as the ability to share it to your social networks there, as well as add it to your favorites playlist or watch it later. Now the player is actually a little bit different as well. You guys can see the bar there. It has a slightly different scrubber. And you can also see that you can browse around while the video is playing like you can now, see the comments. But one of the coolest features and one of the reasons why I made this video was to show you guys there is this new thing called in-app multitasking. And as you guys can see here, there is a little arrow at the top left. And basically you can pull down the video that you're currently playing and you can essentially search for other videos while that video is still running in the background. So I'll go and search for something like NHL. And as you guys can see in the bottom right, that video is still playing. So basically all I have to do is I can go back to that video just by tapping it. And then I can get out of it just by swiping it down to the right. So guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this first look at the YouTube update on iOS. It's a pretty nice update with the in-app multitasking. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like it if you did and subscribe for some more great content, including the upcoming iPhone event as well as the iPads. Thanks for watching, guys.